N-E-O-M, the spelling of the world's largest and most controversial gigacity project, NEOM. I think you've already heard of it happening in Saudi Arabia, so we're here to update you about its construction in 2023. According to the big boss himself, NEOM CEO, Nadmi Al Nassar, one fifth of this colossal construction work is already in the books. Well guys, stay tuned because we'll be exploring NEOM's major parts, the line Trojena, Sindala and Oxagon. What's new, what's changing and most importantly, what's coming? to life in this ambitious endeavor. Let's find out. Located on the red coast of Saudi Arabia, it is asserted that when Neom is all said and done, it won't be your regular city. Think smart towns, high-tech ports, research hubs. That would make Einstein jealous. Sports arenas, entertainment that'll blow your mind, and tourism hotspots that are pure magic. Starting from the line, the true heart of Neom, this 170-kilometer long city is set to be the nucleus of the massive $500 billion mega project. This colossal city situated in Tabuk province in northwestern Saudi Arabia is a game changer. The structures that make up the line comprises 135 modules that are 800 meters in length and 500 meters tall at sea level. Recent satellite images from SOAR and CG satellites of China tell an exciting story. In the central part of Neom, you'll notice a flurry of activity. There's a serious expansion around the project's central base, with new buildings springing up. Piling work is also in full swing, with over 4,500 individual piles already installed. In Module 43, more than 60 piles are being added daily. This pace is only set to quicken in the coming months. There's even a mining operation underway. Remember the untouched desert from Google Maps days? Yeah, not so much now. The line's very own high-speed rail link called the Spine. You won't believe it, the total length of underground tunneling the rail has been reduced by over 30 kilometers. What's more, stations have also been streamlined, shrinking from 48 to 9. And get this, two huge buildings almost 500 meters tall and 120 kilometers long are in the plans. Yes, as of June 2023, the system's scope has significantly evolved. Giles Pendleton, who's leading the line project, gave us an update. They're building the line differently, using modern methods with a kit of parts, which refers to the study and application of object-oriented building techniques, where building components are pre-designed and pre-engineered, making it faster, safer, and more eco-friendly. It's like seeing the future being built, don't you think? A city without cars, no pollution, running on clean energy and controlled by artificial intelligence. Yes, it's really happening, guys. To understand just how massive the line project is, take the Hidden Marina, the first district of the line, which is currently the most extensive infrastructure excavation project globally. We're talking about moving more than 90 million cubic meters of material on the site. And here's the kicker. By the end of 2024, they'll put in over 30,000 piles. Each of these piles goes way down over 50 meters deep and up to 2.5 meters wide to form the foundation of the line. Now, let's put that into context. Think about their Patronus Towers in Kuala Lumpur. They have 104 piles each. Can you imagine the scale that we're talking about here? In the weeks ahead, they're about to reach the peak of excavation at the Hidden Marina setting, the stage for the most massive piling operation the world has ever seen, with up to a million cubic meters of earth being dug up every single week. Wake up, it's real. You can almost follow the path of the foundations from one end to the other. The coastal section known as the Hidden Marina is a beehive of activity. When it's done, it's set to become the world's largest marina capable of hosting a colossal ship like the Wonder of the Seas, which is already the world's largest cruise ship and they could host it twice over by the end of the decade, which means in 2030 they'll welcome their first residents. They're focusing on things, good transport, efficient utilities and careful city planning, all crucial for success. It will be super easy for 9 million people to live here. Work, school, shops, parks and all just a 5 minute walk. It's like a walk in the park every day. Now, subtly shift your angle towards the next part, Sindala, Neom's luxurious island resort and a world-class yachting destination. Picture this, a marina with 86 spots for boats, three super posh hotels, a golf course and cool places to eat and shop. And guess what? You can reach it by boat, seaplane or the Neon Bay Airport nearby. But don't get confused with all the fancy stuff. When you look at satellite images on Google Maps, you'll see the island isn't just a dream, it's becoming real. Roads are in place and they've got the basic plan for buildings and foundations all figured out. Some structures around the marina look like they're almost done. 
Even the grass for the planned golf course is already laid out. Maria International is even joining in, planning to open three luxury hotels, and they're aiming to be finished by 2024. Waiting for next year? Of course you should. Okay, now it's time to turn your attention to another neon project, Oxagon, which is set to be the world's largest floating structure. This colossal endeavor is poised to become the bustling business in the industrial heart of neon. Oxagon will be a port city strategically located in one of the world's busiest shopping routes. Its mission to serve various emerging industries, with a particular focus on green energy for instance. It's scheduled to house the Port of Neon, which is set to be the primary industrial logistics hub for the future megacity. With a whopping $2 billion in investment from Saudi Arabia, the plan is to open the port's first terminal by 2025. However, when we glance at the progress on this project, there isn't much buzz. Satellite images of the site reveal limited work so far. Some infrastructure near the Port of Neom is visible, but it's important to note that some of these structures were originally part of the older Duba Port, which has been renamed and relocated slightly south. Oxagon's community is also in the early stages, similar to what we've seen in other parts of Neom, like the Line and Sindala. When you compare it to the rest of Neom, it's clear that Oxagon still has quite a journey ahead. But you know what they say, the grandest structures take time to rise, and Neom is determined to make it happen. Now, time for the fourth project, Trojena, a place that's like a dream in the desert. It will be a fancy spot for winter fun with skiing and outdoor luxuries you can think of. But here's the twist, Saudi Arabia needs to finish building in just six years. But why the rush? Well, they've got the rights to host the Asian Winter Games in 2029. It's a big deal. Back in 2022, the Crown Prince spilled the beans about Trojena, and just a few months later, Saudi Arabia won the bid to host the Winter Games. Now, this winter wonderland is about 50 kilometers from the Red Sea coast, sitting in one of the tallest mountain ranges in the country. And guess what? In the past year, they've been busy making progress. They're digging around the mountains, moving a massive 1.6 million cubic meters of stuff to make this giant man-made lake at the center of the project. And there's more, the vault which is like a village carved into the mountains is also taking shape. They've moved over a million tons of material for this. They're also laying the foundation for a ski village and it looks like the construction plans are right on track. In just a year, Saudi Arabia has done a lot, showing they're serious about hitting the 2029 deadline. The clock is ticking and Neom is making things happen at a speed like never before. All we have to do is sit tight and see if Neom will be completed as planned or if its kit of parts approach turns out to be a failure. Share your predictions in the comments below.